Now, weighted average, remember that weighted average uses the periodic method and moving average uses the perpetual method. That's just a rule. But they're basically the same thing. So as such, for weighted average at the end of the period, the average of each item in inventory is the weighted average of the costs of all items in inventory. We calculate weighted average by dividing the total cost of inventory available by the total number of units of inventory available. So basically like the the methods here, right? You're just taking a weighted average. Let's let's take a look. Let's dive in, take a look at the weighted average, uh, how we're going to do this here. We're starting with weighted, then we'll go to moving. So weighted average here, we get the same information, same costs, same units purchased, which is nice, right? Uh, that was nice of me to just give, give the same numbers. So, all right, right here. Well, we, we saw this before with the weighted average. You just take the total divided by the uh, units purchased, and that gets you your average cost of $4.47 per unit. Multiply that by uh, the units that are going to be sold in this case, which is 4,000. Ending inventory, like we said in the beginning, it's always the same amount of units. So that's 5,000 units. So that's 9,000 total minus 4,000. And again, multiply it by your weighted average. Boom, that one was easy. That was great. That was wonderful. You know, I had, I had uh, that one just, wow, blew my mind. Nice free points in the exam. All right.